Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Shopify store owners, are you looking to remove the buy with PayPal option from your Shopify store in 2023? In this tutorial, I will walk you through the steps to remove the buy with PayPal option, giving you control over your store's checkout options. Stick around as I guide you through the simple customization process. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing to do is to head up to Shopify.com as you can see. And then I will need you guys to start a free trial or to log into your account. So let's do that. Log in. And then I will be in my account. I will just log in. Um, I'm using VPN at the moment. I'm going to turn it off. So here we go. All right, now let's log in. Um, remind me next time. And then let's choose an account again. And there we go. So now all I need to do is to create shop or a store. So let's create one real quick. I'm going to skip all. And then click on next. And wait for it to log me into my account again. And there we have it. So now all we need to do is to wait for the website to load for us or the dashboard to load for us and then we will be ready to go. And here we are. It was very fast. Now guys, as you can see, this is the dashboard of your website. Now to remove the PayPal option, which is the buy with PayPal option, well all you need to do is to head up to here, click on to the settings. And basically here in your settings you will find the payments or the checkout for us I'm going to go for the checkout so here you will find the informations so you could uh, look for them if you want if you want people to buy with gift cards if you want them to buy with this one that one if you want the marketing option to be through email etc so make sure to go through that as well and this is for the informations in the checkout and here for the payments now this is the important part well your website once you open it once you create your website or your shopify shop on shopify it will be automatically added as uh, it, it will be paypal automatically as your payment getaway well the first thing to do is to remove it so click on payments and click here and basically it is not activated so people cannot buy so what you have to do is to add another payment method and then you will be able to remove paypal so let's add another payment method let's say for example mastercard there we go i'm going to choose this one and then of course you have to connect into your account in that specific uh, getaway install app this is just not a random like getaway that I have added it could be whatever getaway you have so here as you can see uh, you just have to put here your terminal your secure code then save and you will be good to go so this is for the ocean payments now the next thing is you will find that PayPal is no longer or available here as well but you will notice that below this activate PayPal it will be the least payments method there is other ways of course which are for example here manual payments methods so you can basically change something to be very directed for example you either want to if you have a bank deposit so you just have to put here additional details and payment instructions you either have to put cash on delivery and here put all these instructions and after that the PayPal uh, payment method will no longer vi be visible for your customers on your website so it's gonna be very easy you just have to remove some things add you just have to add some things and then the PayPal will be really like replaced and you can delete it right around or just keep it here until you need it later and just like that you will be able to remove it and for those who are asking why would I change or remove PayPal from my account on Shopify here is basically why so this is an article that I found on reddit which has which is very informing so here I see a lot of apps dedicated to removing the quick pay PayPal buttons on the product page, in cards, and checkout. 
actually mean to increase conversions. I can't understand why someone would want to do that. Maybe I'm missing something. I didn't keep it PayPal as a payment method, but want to remove the button that makes it easier for a customer to purchase. So this is basically uh, questions from that guy and the answer is already included. It basically increase your conversions. Here is some more informations in the bottom. So basically uh, this is some people that are talking back and forth. So here. Okay, so when I started using PayPal, they held a few of the larger sales I did. Most sales were 10 pounds or so, they'd hold ones that were 30. And so I realized that if realized that if you put the tracking number of the item you are selling into PayPal, then will usually win the case. I've had a few disputes on there and nearly won every time apart from the times when they did actually need refund. I've used PayPal now for 3 years and never had my money held because I upload the tracking number as proof that the items item is sent. You must do this using banking however, the customer can fill a charge back and you will basically never ever win whereas a seller I 80% win cases with PayPal. So basically there is a lot of cases that PayPal will make some problems with you as a seller so when a customer will refund you will basically lose your money if your cost if you didn't take a picture of that delivery you will not be receiving your money it will be on hold and this is basically very bad for people who are using shopify for drop shipping basically you don't have any information about the delivery you can't have pictures about it you can't really have any information about it so you're gonna be stuck in there and you will not find any proof to make your case win or to win your case against paypal and your money will be suspended permanently so this is why people are actually getting out of paypal one to increase the conversions two to make safe transactions between them and their customers of course most of people are using paypal which is going to be open opening a lot of lots of opportunities to you so you can sell more products but at the same time it is a sort of two edges one good for you and the other is gonna harm your business so make sure guys to use paypal in your shopify store uh, with focus and do not overuse it a lot because it might really refund like there is a big wave of like demand on your website and then all of them can refund and you will lose all your products or your money and you will have problems uh, of course with paypal as well so yeah guys that was it for today's video thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial